I'm Martin Hall, you're watching School of Golf, Extra Credit, Hybrids, Fairway Woods, Four Faults, Four Fixes. Here we go. If you're hitting your uh, hybrids or fairway woods too high, it probably means at the moment of impact, the left wrist is bent back that way. What's the fix? When you hit the ball, try and bow the left wrist. So if your ball flight is much higher than you want it to be, try and bow your left wrist, as the great Ben Hogan said at impact. So let's have one here. My thought is to be bowed, handle ahead at impact. If I bow the left wrist, I'll take away that high ball flight. And that's going to hit that ball out pretty low. How about the other way? You're hitting it too low, you can't get it in the air. See that one quite a bit. Almost always that starts with the hands being too far forwards at address, the left hand being too much on top of the club, the right hand being way too much under the club. Very strong grip, very much really a sort of a hooker's tendency. My gosh, that would be hard to get that in the air, almost impossible. What's the fix? Get the club pointing at the belt buckle. If you don't hit the ball high enough, get the club pointing at the belt buckle. Get your left hand on one side of the club, your right hand on the other. Sort of clap hands with the golf club. So grip end at the belt buckle, hands either side of the club. That should help you get the ball much more up in the air. And that's definitely going to be a bit higher. Yes, it was. Now, how about you hit too many shots to the right with your fairway words or your hybrids? I see that one a lot. Well, you're using the wrong tool. It's as if you've got a saw. It's as if you're sawing something, sawing a piece of wood at the bottom. You're pulling too hard on the end of the club. Now, there's got to be some sort of go-go juice in the end of that club head at some point in the swing. So if you're hitting it to the right, almost certainly you're sawing. What's the best fix I've got? Here it comes. Try splitting your grip and have some practice swings with a split grip. Have a sense of how the right hand, the trailing hand, will catch up with the lead hand and eventually pass. So that little bit of split grip swinging, my goodness, lots of really good players have used that one. Curtis Strange told me he loved it for his two US Open victories. So if I'm hitting it to the right, swing as if I'd got a split grip. Feel the right hand pass the left. And that'll definitely keep that ball more or less online. Now, last one. Let's say you hit too many shots to the left. Understand this, please. If the ball's going left, it means when you hit it, the face is shut. Now, you've traded in the saw, and now you've got a screwdriver. Well, it's not a screwdriver either. It's a golf club. Best drill I know to stop that ball going left. Take a practice swing. Stop about one foot after the ball. See that the club face is square, and this is the tip. Your right elbow is still pointing at your right hip joint. It's when the right elbow pops out, the blade closes. So if I want to make sure it doesn't go left, I take a practice swing, stop about a foot after impact, there's the right elbow facing the right hip joint. I'm going to take that feeling to me as I hit the ball. Very unlikely that ball's going to go left. That's as good as I can hit it. Wish they were all like that.